Welcome to Garden Wise Adventures and today we're going to have a garden tour and look and see what is growing in my garden in the winter. You know this is kind of sort of mid-December and we have a couple of plants that are actually flowering. We have one plant that is poking its little head up in the garden and we have others that have just started their growth over the winter. So let's go look and see what's growing in my garden for the winter. Now the first thing I wanted to show you is this happy little Johnny Jump Up. We have had temperatures below freezing in the mid-teens and actually flirted a little bit with the single digits. We've had snow and this little guy is just happily blooming. Other things that have started to grow are some of my bulbs. These are grape hyacinths that have just started their growth. We have Dutch iris that have just made their appearance for next year. Uh, they do start to grow over the winter. And one of these days we'll actually st maybe start to see daffodils pop up. Right here, these are my mums for next year. They have some growth on them that I did not see earlier, so this is actually new growth. So there are a few plants that decide to show up in the winter and will give you a little tiny bit of color. Other things I love in the winter are grasses. Look how gorgeous this Mexican feather grass is. When the sun shines in on it in the winter, when the snow's on it, it's just beautiful any time. It's got gorgeous texture. I love the evergreens in the winter. They give added color. And we, you need structure in your garden. Some of the shrubs and the trees that you have can provide structure. So look at this gorgeous weeping cherry. I don't know how much of the interior you can see, but this was the contorted weeping cherry that they used to sell. I have not seen them sold in garden centers very often anymore, but it's got a curved trunk and makes this gorgeous weeping form. I love this over the winter. So when you're planning your garden and you want winter interest, definitely look into uh, weeping plants and grasses. Also, lavenders. They give a little bit of weight to the garden in the winter because they stay evergreen. Also look at my dwarf nine bark. It is going dormant, but it hasn't lost all its leaves and it won't lose all of its leaves until next spring. So you still get that gorgeous burgundy color over the winter with it. Contrast that with my white papa and I think it's really quite pretty. I also love my lilac. When I first started pruning it, I, I wasn't sure how to prune lilacs properly. I came from California and we didn't have lilacs there. And so I structurally pruned it rather than cutting branches back to the ground so that it, we could get regrowth. But what I achieved is this gorgeous structure that you can look at in the winter. I do still need to cut out larger branches every year so that we can get new regrowth, but I love the way it looks. It's great winter interest. Another place where I've seen a little bit of growth is my spearmint. I cut that back, but I'm seeing new little green sprigs come up that I can use over the winter. Now, it won't grow much more than this, especially as it gets colder, but you know, I do have spearmint. Another plant that adds some neat color that I'll cut back in the spring is my lamb am. It really is still quite pretty. I also love my sage. I use this over the winter and it just, it stays this color. It's a really pretty contrast to the blue of the blue spruce and the dark mulch. So I really like having a uh, sage, you know, especially this Burgart and sage over the winter. I haven't seen a ton of growth out of my garlic, but I do have one sprig that's come up there and another little one right here. And before long, we should see more of them coming up. I have an arugula plant that, start, that grew from seed in, you know, it was mid fall that it, it started growing, but it is still, you're still able to harvest it right now. It's a little bit buried by the compost, but if you have arugula that's, or greens that have grown in the fall, 
you can have those in your garden. Here's my rosemary. As I said, we've had some very, very cold temperatures and it hasn't even blinked. We're actually starting to see one of its first flowers here. Rosemary does like to flower over the winter. I can still harvest little sprigs of the salad burnet. Not one of my favorite plants because it reseeds itself too readily. But, you know, it's, it tastes a little bit like cucumber, so we have just tiny bits of those, which is all you really need. None of my seedlings that I planted in this garden bed have popped up yet, but I don't plan on seeing those until early spring. Another one that hasn't completely died back yet is I, all over the yard, I have little patches of parsley. Here's a bigger one, and they're still good enough to be used in cooking. We can see that the garlic around my fruit trees has come back, and we can see several different patches of parsley coming up. This little kale has not done much since, I, since we last showed you. You know, it's not going to do any more growing, but it's still alive. The other thing I like in the winter is the structures of my fruit trees. I've really worked on my pruning of those to make them attractive both in the spring and productive in the summer and attractive in the winter. So you can use fruit trees and trees that have interesting bark as interest in the winter. Thank you for coming along my adventure. I always love going out to my garden to see what's going on. You know, there's always something, even in the middle of the winter, that is interesting and even possibly edible. A lot of these plants won't be as good in January, but I still love to go out and look. So if you'd like to see a couple of other videos of garden tours at different times of year on my property, I will link those to the side and go have a wonderful garden adventure.